Do you remember your first job? So it all started when my sister wouldn't let me in the bathroom. I kicked the door until it broke. My parents weren't exactly happy with this. So if you guys watched last week's video, you remember Teresa, best friend since fourth grade. Well, she had a job and it just so happens her coworker quit. Hmm, I wonder why he quit. So I took the person's place and officially was on my way to buying a bathroom door. These blue shirts were our uniforms. My first job was... Okay, a party host for kids' birthday parties. The parties were actually super fun. We started the kids off with a little hot potato. Hot potato, hot potato. Then we'd move on to another activity I would like to call the limbo. It's the limbo boy and Kim, all around the limbo world. I'd have them play follow the leader. I was the leader. Okay guys, follow me. Oops. <laughs> we'd break for pizza and soda. It's pizza time! Yay! Yay! Did I mention this job included dressing up as characters in those hot bootleg knockoff costumes? Oh, that's why they quit. I had to dress up as Dora, Elmo, SpongeBob. I didn't even mind dressing up, really. It was mainly just the fact that it was 2,000 degrees inside the thing. The Elmo costume had a little automatic fan in the back of the head part that you had to turn on. That's how hot it got in there. Literally, if you didn't put that fan on, you were basically suffocating. It's like equivalent to someone holding a pillow over your face and pressing as hard as they can until you're dead. Anyway, we finish up with a little birthday cake. <laughs> party would leave. Good night. Thanks for coming. Teresa and I would clean up and that was the end of our shift. It was actually a lot of fun. I worked a lot of parties. Weekend after weekend after weekend and I was getting really good at it. Hot potato, hot potato. It's the limbo boy. Everyone follow me. Oops. It's pizza time. Yay! Yay! Thanks for coming. Potato. Follow me guys. Pizza time. Yay! Yay! Good night. Bye. Yay! Get out. Okay, you get the point. So I was like, I gotta quit. This sucks. I was starting to lose my mind. Started to get really ticked off at like everything. Oh, speaking of, I forgot to mention our manager, Becky. Becky was like super nice to the parents, like overly nice to the parents, and then a total jerk to us. She literally did nothing to help out during the parties. She would sit in the back office with her feet up on the desk and all she would do is pause and play the music while we were playing freeze dance. You know, the game where you dance and when the music stops, you have to freeze. And then when the music comes back on, you have to dance again. Well, she wasn't even good at that part. She would always forget to pause the music. So we'd be like dancing for like an hour. So I had to leave the mat, go to her office. Hey, Becky, you forgot to pause the music. Oh, oops. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay, Becky. Don't worry about it. As literal sweat was rolling down my head. So like I said, every little thing was starting to annoy me at this place. Teresa, I need you to do follow the leader today. I'm dying here. No way I'm doing that today. I always do follow the leader. I'm not going in that dirty playground. Okay, so I'll go in the dirty playground. Thanks. No! I was so on the verge of walking out at this point. I'm leaving. You can run this whole party by yourself. The birthday boy walks in. He had on an Elmo shirt and an Elmo hat. Oh God, it was gonna be an Elmo party. The hottest costume that we literally have. Yeah, I quit. See ya. No, wait, don't do this to me. I'll do follow the leader and Elmo. Fine. <laughs> now, Teresa honestly never dressed up in Elmo before, so I don't think she realized what she was getting herself into. This costume was the worst. Teresa went into the garage to change into her costume. Oh, the garage. You guys have no idea what I'm talking about. The garage was like where we would change into our costume, where we would make the cotton candy. It had all the storage supplies. I don't know why we called it the garage. It was just like a back room. I think it used to be a garage and then they turned it into a storage room. But anyway, they knocked down one of the walls and replaced it with a curtain. So it's easier for employees to constantly go in and out. So here's the curtain. We'd usually dress up in costume, then walk out onto the mat, dance around like an idiot, and then go home and contemplate our lives. So the garage was like, 
super off limits to kids. Not only was it dangerous, but all of their favorite characters' corpses were in there, so yeah. Every party, the one thing Becky would say is, did you close the curtain? Did you close the curtain? Did you close the curtain? And then she would pretty much not supervise us at all the rest of the day. But the curtain was like all she cared about. So Teresa comes stumbling out as Elmo. Finally, I wasn't dressing up for once. Elmo! Elmo! Birthday boy Billy was on cloud nine. Party wasn't going too bad. I was starting to feel a little better. We were dancing around. Everything was dandy. And then, are you having fun, Elmo? I can't breathe. Okay, kids. Elmo will be right back. We're just going to get a surprise for everyone. Yay! Give me the f out of this thing. So apparently I forgot to tell Teresa about the fan. Like you really could die without that fan. I can't breathe. All right, calm down. <laughs> get me out of this thing. And if it wasn't bad enough, all of a sudden we hear the dreadful words. Elmo? I forgot to close the curtain. We're fired. We're definitely fired. There's absolutely no chance we're keeping our jobs, Teresa. Teresa? Teresa was blue. She needed an ambulance. We got a dead Elmo on the left. Angry kids on the right. We got cotton candy just waiting to be eaten. I don't know what I'm doing. I was actually thinking about calling an ambulance for real, but I just imagined how horrific the 911 call would have gone. 911, what's your emergency? Uh... I don't really know how to explain this, but my friend is dying. Okay, where are you now? Uh, we're in the garage. Uh, okay, and what does your friend look like? Uh, Elmo. Teresa ended up being fine. She just needed a little water. Billy, on the other hand, was scarred for life. We really messed that kid up forever, I'm sure. So that's kind of the end of my story. So yeah, all I can say, guys, is Look up the song Hot Potato by The Wiggles. It's amazing. You're welcome.